makeup boy my name is Kayla and welcome welcome back to my channel today's video idea originally was going to be battle of the purple palettes I was going to do the fight club versus the juvia's place violets palette and then I, I swatched both of these and then I was looking back at both the photos and I was like these are very so this is what ended up happening. I started filming this video and at some point the audio stopped recording and I refused to try redoing this video because when the audio does come back towards the end, it's absolutely hilarious. So I'm going to turn this into kind of a voiceover for the majority of this video. In case you're new here, hello, my name is Kayla. I am the Makeup Schizophrenic. It is my goal on the internet to reduce the stigma against schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder by talking about relatively normal things, such as having an obscene amount of makeup collection and talking about eyeshadows for hours and hours on end. So as you can kind of see me talking so far into this video, I was trying to do a dupe the vibes of the Flight Club palette using the Juvia's Place, the Violets palette, but that didn't end up working out as I started looking more at the Flight Club palette and comparing it. And I found out that the BH Cosmetics Cotton Candy palette actually works more of a similar vibes than the Violets palette. So right now I'm just kind of talking about those differences. You can kind of tell that there's more of the pink, kind of light purple things. So those are going to be the things that I'm mostly comparing, going to be using against the Flight Club palette. And here I start referencing how I can feel like I can also use the Berries palette as, long, as well as the Violet's palette. And then I also mentioned the uh, Violet Voss Sugar Crystals palette. And in hindsight, I should have used more of this palette, but I end up not using it at all. So the left eye is the Flight Club side, and for that side, I am using a little baddie to begin with the crease, and on the dupe side, which is going to be the right side, I think I started off with Confection from the Cotton Candy palette, and then I also go to the Berries palette, which is somewhere in my vicinity. Um, it is the top middle shadow from that palette and I just kind of work those into crease. I try to use as similar as brushes as possible. The only time this really happens is with this uh, initial crease work because I just happen to have two wet and wild brushes of the same style which are super old but hey they still work so that is fantastic. So first I'm showing you the next brushes that I will be using. One is a Morphe and the other is a limited edition Real Techniques brush. For the dupe side, I am using the matte from the Berries palette, the top left one, and then for the um, Flying Fox, or the Fruit Bath palette, I'm using the shade Flying Fox to start deepening up the crease. So at this point, I'm showing you my confusion with Flying Fox. It looks more of a warm berry on the brush, almost kind of pink, but then when I start blending it into the crease, it definitely shows off a more purple vibe. This is kind of where I get stumped. Um, so then I actually end up going into the Cotton Candy palette and I choose the shade Sugar Plum and Confection to bring more of that purple back and that ends up working. So from here, I'm going over which of the dark purple shadows I'm going to put on each of the lids. For the uh, dupe side, I'm using the dark purple from the Violet's palette and then hanging out for the Flight Club side. I am also going to be stuttering between the two brushes that I'm choosing that are kind of similar, but kind of not, but enough for the purpose of this video. And I'm going to start packing those shadows on their respective sides. Let's take a moment now to scream at that beautiful, beautiful purple shadow going over there. I just can't get over how beautiful this shadow is in this pal in the Flight Club palette. Like, can, can you just see that? I'm not even spraying my brush at this point and it looks gorgeous. 
So now I'm taking the Juvia's Place shadow on the dupe's eye, and it is going to create a very similar vibe, but there's just something about the shift in the Flight Club palette that the Juvia's side just, it cannot hold a candle to. But in in terms of trying to like dupe the vibes, I think the shadow does a fairly decent job, even though you can't tell because of my face on the camera. I should have shown you guys this first, but the top swatch is from the Flight Club palette and then the Juvia's Place shadow on the bottom. Again, they look pretty similar, fair enough. They'd probably look the same on the eye, but I'm still just gawking at how pretty the Flight Club palette is. And this is me being awkward again. At this point, I do go to wet the brushes and try applying the shadows again, see how they look um, once you add a little bit of water to it. And it does add a little something, but it's not really worth noting, but I did it, so I'm showing you. Now I'm feeling like nocturnal. <gasps> That's funny. And this is where the comparisons and trying to dupe the vibes truly does end. Then what I try to do on the other side, I'll kind of speed it up, but I end up using fluff and sugar from the Vi uh, from the Violet Voss, from the BH Cosmetics palette, and it just doesn't hold a candle to Octurnal. I think I was doing really good up until this point, but I mean, you're just seeing Octurnal right there. Like, how can BH Cos Cosmetics compare? Like, it can't. It just can't. Okay, so now on the menagerie side, I'm taking a little batty, which I used in the crease earlier, and I'm just going to sweep that underneath the lower lash line. And then on the dupe side, I'm using sugar plum and confection for the same kind of purpose. I mean, how well this is coming together. Also, there's a lot of shimmer fallout on the BH side. I don't know if that's just because I was using my fingers or what. But this is where voiceover Kayla gets to say goodbye because for some reason, my volume comes back to the video. So going back to real video time, me now. You see, a little baddie has just enough depth on its own. Like it's light, but it's not light. So it's just easy to kind of, kind of swipe it up a little bit. A little bit. Kind of like bringing up a little bit of the sides because I just kind of want to connect them. Kind of what I'm doing. Gonna do a little bit more on the flight club side. We're gonna call it here. I'm going to do eyeliner. Not, I, I said I was gonna do eyeliner. I'm gonna use my NYX Foot White Eyeliner and I'm gonna do mascara. And then we're gonna zoom out and do blush. A little bit of pastel eyeliner. Mascara, which it's so weird seeing myself without weed eyeliner and just mascara, it's weird. Um, I did a little a lip oil, damn. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Kathleen Lights makeup game palette, damn. Okay, so we now have the figgy blush to talk about this guy right here um I guess I'll swatch it doesn't look this is supposed to be a blush how is that a blush I don't know how this is a blush I'm gonna wiggle it out I still don't know okay we're putting it on our face okay so I did use a cream blush today I put it underneath my foundation instead of over on top and I don't know. I don't know. We're going to use this Real Techniques one. This is a limited edition, like from 2019 probably. And we're going to take the smallest double tap. Okay. What did I just do? Is this actually supposed to be a blush, Menagerie Cosmetics? Is this actually supposed to be a blush? 
But look at the glow it's doing with the highlighter. It's kind of making it uh, interstellar. Um, I mean, I use the Flight Club palette, so I need to use, I need to use a blush that I bought with it. That I was so determined to buy more than the palette. This is a moment in time. This is definitely a moment. Like, it's cute, it's fun, but what the hell? We'll put a little bit on the nose just because I am going out later, but I'm wearing a mask, so it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, I look like Rudolph, <laughs> Rudolph the Purple Nose Reindeer. <laughs> I ruined off the purple nose reindeer. Why did I just do that? This is why I don't. This, okay, here's my problem with the blush. I just don't stop. Okay, this is not cute anymore. This is just funny. The tutorials don't get real until you take off the headband. Zoom it out a little bit more. So this is the finished look. The nose. Okay, the nose is totally getting to me. It's the nose. Why did I do this? Uh, okay. Okay. Let's wrap this up. So, for today's first one. You know what would have been a lot better for this side was to go into the um, Sugar Crystals palette and gone for the um, purple topper shade right down here. Maybe even the blue one. That would have been a lot better. See how messy my desk is. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> just really. Okay. So in order to kind of dupe the vibes of the Flight Club palette, I ended up using three palettes: Cotton Candy, Violets, Berries by Juvia's Place. How well did I do? Be honest with me, okay? Don't look at my nose. Look at my eyes. At my nose. Look at my eyes. My eyes. At my nose. My eyes. I feel like we were going pretty strong until I brought in Nocturnal and Nocturnal right here. I feel like Nocturnal just um, knocked the duping the vibes out of the water. On their own, okay, I love this look. I love this eye, obviously. The look, I love this eye look. It's gorgeous. I love it. But if I was just messing around with like pinks and purples, like... I still like this eye like this I don't think this eye I don't think this eye is bad by any means it's just not what I was trying <gasps> my nose <laughs> look at my nose <sighs> okay thank you guys so much for watching today's video I wish there was a Rudolph uh, emoji to, so you could leave that down below but thank you so much for watching. If you would do me the honor of, uh, if you would do me the honor of subscribing to my channel and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Kayla Hayes with a Z. I upload three videos a week: Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. <laughs> my nose. I upload three days a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And this is apparently the nonsense I do on my video. You know what? Uh, I don't I don't know when this video will go up, but at some point in the weeks past, I just like took I just made like a three minute trailer for my channel where if like you come to my uh, channel, like if you go to like my YouTube channel for the first time, you'll see that like that's a trailer that will auto start playing. And I wish, I should just like redo that trailer like in a month and include me yelling about my nose. That would have been so much better. Oh, missed, missed opportunities, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Okay, bye.